Hello everyone, this is Donna's Whimsical Treasures. Today I want to share with you some bakery bags and what I did with them. When I say bakery bag, it's because literally you can find this in the baking aisle in some of your craft stores. I found these in Joann's. And the front has a little window. In this case you can't see it because I covered it with paper. But it has that nice crinkle sound that you can find with these type of bags because it has a little seam inside for bakery goods. I use this pretty paper from Love Letters from Craftsmith. You can find it in Michael's. And it has this pretty trim here on the bottom with these little cabochons. And look at how pretty these appliques are with rhinestones. I covered the whole edge with this teeny tiny little trim. And down here it says, you are what makes me smile. Up here we have another pretty applique, a double bow in the flower, some flat backs up here. And I used to highlight the bag, a little bit of stickles. Along the back, I put this pretty paper, little trim here up on the top and this trim on the bottom. I think it came out so pretty. The second one that I made is this one, and I really enjoyed making all of them. This one says live in the moment, and there's some stickles here, and I sewed on it with gold trim. Up here we have a little nest and a butterfly, and on this one I used some cheesecloth along the back. And also I used tool, but it comes decorated. I found that that tool in Dollar Tree and I love it. I really love it. I hope they bring it back this year. Here I have this other applique and it's a flower and this pretty trim that I made into a bow with the apple blossom flower and it has stickles. And I use some vintage music paper in the background. Down here we have these appliques with the rhinestones. This pretty bird that's lifted up dimensionally with this flower with a rhinestone some gold thread here and i just think it came out so pretty what do you think about this one do you like it then along the back i put some music paper and some butterfly paper in combination i think it came out so pretty and the inside look at how pretty a lot of space to put goodies in had so much fun with that. And then I decided to use some uh, vintage paper. And I went crazy with glitter on this one. I believe that every person is born with talent, it says. And what I did was I Mod Podged it on and I used glitter Mod Podge. But on top of that, I actually used glitter. So we have uh, quite a glittery scene here. A vintage typewriter. And I used this pretty trim here, flat backs here, little small trim along the edges with pearls and flat backs up here, music paper on the bottom. And over here, I used this pretty trim with these cabochons. Isn't that pretty? Along the back, I used this pretty paper. And this also is a bakery bag. So pretty. I had so much fun with the three of them. Let me know if you like them. Let me know if you like altering bags or if you haven't tried it yet or if it's something that's on your list to do. I enjoy making them. Have a great day and thank you for sharing your time with me. Be safe, my friends. See you soon.